Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm going to be reversing, well, not really reversing, but um, exploiting out of Iron Lung for shits and giggles because a lot of folks in the comment section uh, wanted to see what was on the outside. They're curious old little creatures. Um, so I'm going to answer that question for y'all. Uh, the tool I'm going to be using today is Cheat Engine, of course. Why would you not use anything else? For a game that hopefully does not have any sort of uh, anti-cheat or anti-debug. Um, by the way, I started in debug mode for various reasons. Um, I won't spoil anything, but if you're a little uh, script kitty like me, then you'll give it a try for yourself and report back. And maybe you'll uh, you'll be mad at me. I don't know. Beginning of descent. So I'm not gonna watch the intro. Um, that's a little boring. I don't like doing that. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds. Stand by. Uh, 40 seconds, more like whatever is five times faster than that. So let's go ahead and slow it down. It should give me control here in just a um, moment. Here just a like moment. The anyway, I can go ahead and just start this. Uh, so what you're going to do is search for an unknown float value, unknown initial value, float, scan it. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to do a decrease scan because I am decreasing hopefully uh, either my X or my Z coordinates, maybe Y coordinates. I don't know how the game's built. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the value, next scan. And I'm going to walk forward and that is 110% going to increase the value. So I'm going to do a next scan. Now, if you're a noob, you'll be doing that over and over again multiple times until you find something really nice um a value that you actually like but i kind of did this a little bit before it's going to be somewhere at the 70 range where i'm standing right now so i'm going to do an exact value scan while i pushed all the way to the very front of the submarine i wanted to say like 77 oops not that 70.88 my bad okay we'll just do no scan for that let's go Decrease scan, decrease scan, decrease scan. Yep. And now, exact value for that. And we have 57 values right now. Um, I'm not going to sift through each and every one of them. So the value didn't change, so I'm just going to search for an unchanged value, do a next scan, drop down a couple more. Now, this is enough for me to be comfortable to do this and just highlight them all and drag them all down. Now, whenever you're doing this in other games, it could crash. Um, I'm already, I'm certain this is going to be in here. And no, it's not. I'm actually stupid. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Unless I, uh, did I just not highlight them all? Unless, no, let's not do that anymore. 70. How are none of these active? That is something else. Like I literally did this like five minutes ago. <laughs> Why does the debug mode have this? Get me out of here. Man, I'm freaking out. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I don't want to get jump scared, bro. Right, I have no clue why none of these are working. Let's try chunk again. Uh oh. Yeah, the game likes messing with you. Like, this happened even in the other version. Why is it not updating, dude? That is so funky. Let's do, let's go back to the front, do another scan. Let's get rid of all of these. All right, we can scan through it.
I'm probably getting the fake sub or something like that. I don't know. That's really weird. And what I mean by fake sub, inside of the, uh, inside your progress file, there is a credits for your fake sub. Well, that makes sense because it's still my real player. Dude, that's funky. I literally just found all of these a minute ago. Okay, well, let's do a new scan for an unknown value. Just say, screw it. We'll try it again. That's looking a little better now. Change between, between, the value between. Let's do 65 and 71. Cool, so it has to be one of these. That is so funky. Let's try these. Definitely not those first. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely stumping me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Nothing. Crazy. Oh, we're gonna brute force it again. There we go. All right, cool, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is, actually pausing the game does nothing, it still plays. I don't know why I did that. So we're gonna search for an unknown value for scan. And while we're falling, I'm going to do decrease value scans. And alt tab out. Uh, funny enough, that does stop the game. Uh, so a lot of really nice values like a whole bunch of nothing. Let's see what happens. Play. Right, let's all tab. Decrease. So from what I'm seeing, I fell for a good minute, so I should be like definitely underneath at least 300 maybe. We'll see. One of these definitely are my my forward so I'm gonna keep those all right let's keep falling and decreasing okay uh, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and do this one see what we get It might be in here. I'll never know. Sure isn't.
that just changed a lot of them. But I do not see. Okay. Let's do a new scan for that value. And three addresses. How about that? That's wonderful. That's something you love to see. And let's take a look. Please. No. What? Right, that's crazy. Still nothing. Is it rounded? Yeah. Try not to overshoot it so we can land on top of it. Yeah, whatever, I'll just keep falling. Eventually. Why'd I do 500? Here we go. All right. So here's our wonderful little, little abode. Yeah, not the not too crazy, and that has no collision, so that will happen. All right, so yeah, this is all the game is. It's pretty crazy. Um, the game is all like less than two hundred megabytes. So for what it's worth, this is pretty crazy. The atmospheric from what i've read uh i still have not played the game legit so this probably killed a lot of the ambience for me um that's kind of what happens when you start reverse engineering stuff so the magic comes out of it uh however you get to learn things you get to learn how games are made but other than that uh thanks for watching